A de-esser is a processor designed to lessen high-frequency S sounds in voice and other sources, such as symbols, etc. The S sounds that we wish to eliminate due to their harsh and sometimes distorted nature are easily attenuated by the Renaissance de-esser. Renaissance de-esser is the combination of a compressor with sidechain filter that can detect the energy in just the high-frequency bands instead of full bandwidth energy. This enables the compressor to affect only the high frequencies we intend to attenuate. Let's check out the controls. The threshold slider sets the point at which the de-esser begins to act upon the signal. It is adaptive to allow a more natural sounding effect. It is also different than the classic threshold found on compressors. Instead, this threshold defines the sensitivity in which the de-esser acts upon the signal. Lower threshold settings cause de-esser to reach its maximum S attenuation due to higher sensitivity. Higher thresholds have a lower sensitivity and cause the attenuation to be more dynamic. The maximum attenuation can only be achieved when there are loud peaks in the source audio signal. The range controls the actual amount of gain reduction allowed. It ranges from 0 to minus 48 dB. Check out the graphic display when you adjust this parameter. The frequency control can either be a high pass or band pass style filter. This value sets the corner frequency for the high pass filter or the center frequency for a band pass style filter. The type button toggles between high pass and band pass style filters used for detection and split mode compression. The mode button toggles between wide band or split. Split mode divides the signal into two frequency bands with a crossover. In split band mode, the compression can be applied to high frequencies only with the lows unaffected. In wide band mode, the compression is applied to the whole frequency spectrum of the source signal. The monitor button toggles monitoring between the audio output of the plug-in or just the sidechain information. Monitoring the sidechain can be helpful in hearing and eliminating only the appropriate frequencies of the signal. The Renaissance deesser graph shows real-time visual representation of the plug-in's activity. Frequencies are on the x-axis. Gain is shown on the y-axis. The cyan line represents the sidechain or active range of the crossover filter. The red line represents the passive range of the crossover. The yellow line represents the frequency-dependent attenuation. The transparent purple shaded line represents the gain attenuation range. Click on the attenuation peak hold display to reset it for proper monitoring of your settings. The output meters have numerical peak hold indicators at the bottom and clip indicators at the top. Since DSR can only attenuate the signal, there should rarely be clipping. If so, check the level of the original signal. Let's check out Renaissance DSR on a vocal track that is too sibilant when I applied enough high frequency boost to make it pop through the mix. There are two ways of using Renaissance DSR. The first is load one of the specific factory presets and adjust it to taste. The second involves using the sidechain to focus on the problematic frequency. This is what we are going to do with the sibilant vocal track. Click Sidechain in the Monitoring section. Now let's adjust the frequency control so we can definitely hear the troublesome frequency in the vocal. This is normally found between 4 and 7 kHz. Make sure that you have it set so none or very few of the less offensive frequencies from the vocal track are audible. Select Audio Monitor and you should hear DSing already, due to the fact that the threshold is adaptive. Let's try some further adjustments to become more familiar with the controls. Even when you told me twice I was so sure you were wrong But I should have taken your advice But you would say and I should say Everywhere we find the fans In a world that didn't make sense Made a habit of mine So I'm here asking why Why When you're right, you're right I believe this time you're right 
Even when you told me twice I was so sure you were wrong But I should have taken your advice But you would say and I should say Everywhere we find the fans In a world that didn't make sense Made a habit of mine So I'm here asking why Why When you're right, you're right I believe this time you're right Renaissance DSer is a very capable DSer, but it can also be used to tame a loud hi-hat in a finished mix without sacrificing sonic quality through the use of ordinary EQ. Our example of a vocal track that needs to be brighter, but when compressed and EQ'd it became too sibilant is also a common use. It is possible to go over the top with DSing. And if you can hear the DSing or it doesn't sound natural, chances are that you went too far with it. Make sure to check out the C1 and C4 movie tutorials in this CSI environment for related information.